So far, this is it. Sheriff Davis is home. The famous man's home. I'm excited. I have a feeling we'll get a much better idea of what's going on when we find his case files. Learn as much as you can about Lee Davis find his case files. Okay, once again, starting on the left side. Is this his bedroom? Gun on the bedside table, pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crime around here? No, not really. Pretty peaceful town. These incidents are our first serious thing to hit this town since the tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yep. It was pretty bad. Some local businesses had to leave. Actually, the US Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Did they end up buying? Nah, the tornado dissuaded them pretty fast. Oh. Well, so a lot of the, that land is in contention. Apparently, the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently years back, they bought it off that Cherokee tribe I told you told you earlier. Apparently, they swindled them and gave them a raw deal for it. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. This one's locked. A beautiful... Yes, the sheriff was into photography. He carried his SLR everywhere, even on duty. He would take photos of all sorts of things. Oh, shoot. All the lights are on. He must have left in a rush. What's this? Is this a light switch? Full fridge. If he was planning to disappear, he would have emptied this out first. What do you mean? Would he have emptied it out? I mean, if he just walked out the door. <laughs> All clean, interesting guy. That's all she has to say. Okay, so he keeps his place clean. I don't know why that makes him interesting, but sure. There's a note. Something's on the ground there. What is... Are these boxes? What is this stuff on the side? Camping equipment, tin food, water purifiers, flint, hunting knives. This guy was ready for Armageddon, eh? The sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger. The outdoors is in his blood. U.S. Army Ranger. Interesting. Lots of books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. Okay. U.S. Army Ranger Survival Guide. Hollywood Photograph, Volume 1 to 19. Fire extinguisher. I guess this guy was really ready for anything. Almost too ready, right? Medal of Honor awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Lee Davis, 7th Rangers Division. Sheriff Davis was in the military? Yes, she, he explained this before. Yep, U.S. Army Ranger. How am I not surprised? So he's a ranger. If he is dead, what killed him must have been pretty intense. That is, if he's dead. Yeah, let's not worry the guy. He's already kind of... <laughs> he's already kind of nervous already. With his car guns, most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left so many of his firearms behind. I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. Guide on how to modify small, medium-sized firearms. Police reports? First aid, photos of Antarctica. It's a key. Lots of classical literature. This guy sure loved to read. Oh, the lights on. Lights are on. Awards of excellence and merit for Sheriff Lee Davis for excellence in law enforcement. High Commissioner E. Baum. Pretty impressive. Man, this guy was packing heat, huh? I am I Desert Eagle, Beretta M9, and Remington 870 shotgun. All reliable classics. Wow, you know your guns. I'm in America, I have to. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the same thing. A set of keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think those are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. Those aren't his house keys either. I don't as they don't have they don't look like the copy I have. Guess we hang on to these. There's a note. 
Again? Different handwriting this time. What does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 6.34. That's from the Bible. Let's see if we can find one. The sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there's a Bible around here somewhere. He has multiple com computers. Let's see. Hmm. When I open the file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Must be encrypted. Can you, can you still copy the files into your flash drive? Yeah, it doesn't stop me doing that. Very interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files and yet chooses not to lock them into his computer. Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely. He didn't put up a password for the computer itself, as if he knew someone else would use it. That's odd. Copy the file anyway. We can probably find the keyboard that deciphers the code later. This guy a hacker or something? He has so many computers. Yes, that's I was I was commenting on that. Okay, so we've downloaded the files. We know where the Bible is. Yes. Sir, they said from now on give us this bread. I wonder what that could mean. Most likely something to do with the keys since he obviously left those for someone to find. Oh yeah, the sheriff has a storage unit somewhere. This might be the clue to where. Okay, in the kitchen? Give us some bread. Oh wait, the file cabinet is also locked. Totally forgot about that. We have the key. Was this the thing where I have to like use the item? Oh, can I? I can't even go down. Oh, I have to like press spacebar and then... How do I use it? What? I don't quite understand this one. Something about give us some bread. Okay, either way, I'm gonna need to end the set here. So what's this? There's sort of like one of these pictures. Okay, either way, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on these videos. Until next time, guys. See ya! Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of... of uh, Silver Fall Creek? Silver Creek Falls? Chapter 1? Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. Most likely something to do with the keys since he obviously left those for someone to find. I didn't recall anything about bread. Can't interact with any of these things. I 
<laughs> checking the plants because Okay. I mean, I would say the kitchen, right? But unless there's like a way I'm supposed to be using the items. But one, I'm not quite sure how to go about that. Maybe I press enter. No. What? Why would... What? What did I just do? Why would the blood samples... Okay, the blood samples for some reason... What the hell? I literally cannot think in my head what could possibly be... I mean, they're not gonna put an item on like the side or anything like that. So why is there like a table in here? This is nothing. This is nothing. Give us some bread. Unless this is like the bread here. Like an image or something. tempted to look this up now. I... The main thing here is I don't know if I'm supposed to be using an item <laughs> in some way. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. Maybe it's not the bread, but the sir, but then I feel like... One hand, I feel like I've like I've literally checked everything. Unless it's... Oh, wait. Camp equipment. Okay, I'm just because I'm I'm a bit unsure of how to navigate. Like I did something with I used up a blood sample somehow, and that's not at all what I wanted to do because I don't know what I am doing. So I'm just I really want to check right now that there is not some sort of mechanic that I am missing out on. If I have to like use an item in a certain way because that's really going to... That is one thing that will very much throw me off. 
Okay, so I had to resort to a video guide. It's not here. Uh, okay, right. Z. Okay, <laughs> I have to leave. It's not in the home, it's somewhere else. That's why I was getting so confused. Well, they said bread, right? So Baker Lane. I get it, from the Bible, yes. Which, yes, I did see from the thing. Okay. Empty, so someone cleared it all out. Okay, so this part, the shelves here, the storage unit, though this looks... Wait, there's a box in front of me the entire time. Zit, he even labeled it for us. What's inside? Biles and all the victims and some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man, this car is only a year old. No tape player. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel and check it out. Cool. I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Davis' files if that's okay. Please do. Okay, I just want to see if there's anything else here. Locked. Empty. Phone directory might be useful. Those look a bit heavy. We can pass by for them later. You're right. Locked. Documents, but it's all in gibberish. Doesn't even look like a language. You need to know the cipher or keyword to unlock it. It's an old way of hiding sensitive information. Looks important, we should take these. I can hold on to these for you. Thank you, Deputy. If you're reading this, chances are you're looking for something. Technically, this, sorry, this was to open the storage unit, my bad, I'm being silly, forgot about that. Okay, I think that might actually be it. Okay, let's leave then. <laughs> really? Okay, I have to go all the way around. Actually, technically, we could just go between these boxes. Camping gear. So I need to head to my car in order to listen to the cassette tapes. Sarah turns on the car and starts Lee Davis' tapes. something tape. very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present, and ever seen, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, am I to assume that a murder has taken place, and the body is disposed of perfectly? This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece is finding out about the victim of the car accident. 
Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham a few days ago. The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. The notes I am finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe that the answer lies in finding the correlation between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I am not safe. For the past few days I have felt a presence around, someone watching, someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this one, it is not hard to detect when something irregular has happened. If you are listening to this, I am assuming you are also a member of the police force, and I ask you to please see that justice be done. These youngsters had promising lives in front of them, and now their families are telling me they have disappeared. My heart tells me they are no longer in this world. The brutality of the attacks makes me think that perhaps it may have been an animal, or even supernatural. But the lack of evidence makes me think that perhaps it was from someone or something intelligent and experienced. I leave behind my notes for you in case something happens to me. Farewell. To say the image shows a very old car. But anyway, okay. What are we doing now? Can't talk to you. So, Silver Creek Hotel. That's so weird that we have to like. So, what do you think? It's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, the small town hasn't seen anything major in years. Yeah, but one could possibly claim that the attacks in the national park was a wolf attack. Yeah, and the car accident really was just caused by drunk driving, and the guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? No, also those creepy notes. The one Lee Davis left us was his, that's for sure. But the ones at the crime scene, I don't know. You think it might have been Lee Davis? No, he was with the deputy at the time of the first crime. Also, I can't imagine such a decorated officer suddenly going on a murder spree. I've seen stranger things, but my gut instinct says it's not him. Besides, those tapes. He sounds really mystified and horrified by the cases. Did you get a quick look at the files? Very quick look. Did you notice that all the victims were under 24? All college students from the same university? Yeah. We need to investigate who of them knew each other. But first, we should probably check out the evidence, check it for fingerprints, etc. Yeah, check out the blood samples too. Isn't it insane that there are no signs of bodies, all just huge blood spatters? We have our work cut out for us. As long as the amateur deputy stores, as long as that amateur deputy stores all the evidence well, we should be able to crack this. You were pretty rough on him earlier. Come on, you know he deserved it. Chances are the trail has gone cold by now. Like I said, we got our work cut out for us tomorrow. What did he tell you while I was getting coffee? He was telling me about how strangely Lee Davis was behaving after these cases. How he was recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't eating or sleeping either. Very strange. Anyway, I'm tired. We sure crammed a lot in the day. We could have split this into two days, but the trail would have grown even colder. I'm off to bed. Cool. See you tomorrow morning, then. Where are you heading? Just there? Guess I'm rest. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. It's the only thing we can do. Alright. Far room to the right. Day three. What's happening? 
I just got, just got a call from the captain. Deputy's body was found this morning. Deputy Hill is dead? Afraid so. Where was his body found? In the police station. <laughs> we should investigate. The police station is on Apaka 3 Road. Let's investigate. Is my car going to be damaged or something? Wow, news travels fast. I'm still getting over that Mike is gone. We grew up together. Why is this all happening? I'm sorry that we couldn't stop this from happening. We will get to the bottom of this. There are men in suits all over town. They have blocked off all the roads. You can probably walk into town unencumbered. If you didn't know this, head west on the Rotel Road. Thanks. Okay. So yeah, we are going to have to walk our way there. I just want to like, take a look at the car. Who blocked the parking exit with their car? I guess we need to walk into town today. A stroll will do us good. Okay, it's letting you right in the, right, know right away that we are a walk-in. Okay, so what did he say? Tinker Lane? I totally do not remember which street he said. And we can talk, probably talk to these guys, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. Not so much talking. Okay, did I... Oh, he said Taylor Lane. Did he say Taylor Lane? Hey, you two, clear out. This is a restricted area. We're police officers. My name is Detective Fer Sarah Fitzgerald. Hawthorne County Police requested my presence here. Your badge says Norfolk Police. Aren't you a bit far away from your jurisdiction? Aren't you listening? We were asked to come here. This is my jurisdiction. Not anymore. FBI is taking over this show now, so you can take it easy now, Detective. Thank you for your concern. What happened? I heard the deputy was killed. Yes, we're looking into it, Detective. You're all relieved. You are relieved. Mike. I'm sorry, Detective, but I really need to ask you to leave now. We knew him. We should have the right to see him. Also, the case evidence is in that building. We're taking over that. We're taking over that as well. The minor cases like the car accident will pass to the Durnan Police Force. You are relieved, ma'am. Don't talk to me like I'm a civilian. The cases are all related. Whoever killed the deputy also killed the college kids. That's for us to decide, Detective. Will you be leaving now, or do I have? Do I need to have you escorted? Sarah, let's go. Philip, you can't be buying this. They're FBI and they outrank us. Let's go. Can't believe you. Okay. Is there like a back way? I know I was here yesterday. Sorry, ma'am, I can't let you through orders from above. Whose orders? My boss. The special agent in charge. He's looking over the police station. I see. Okay. Um. Oh my god. I do not remember where. He said the car accident. We can look at the car accident, right? I mean, there's a note, but I need the... Okay, doesn't really help. Doesn't help. Silver Creek Road, maybe? It's Tinker Lane.
Okay. Just wanted to see if there's anywhere else I can actually go, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, we made it. Okay, we, we made our. Copper Lane. I'm assuming this is Copper Lane, hence police officer, cop. No, but the police station's here. Salantic Highway. This is Tinker Lane. Just gonna walk in the middle of the road. <laughs> Just, let's get off the road, I guess. So, what do we do now then? The bear, car bear, not be here when I come back. What is this? Well, it looks like that's us off the case. Phil, I can't believe you're giving up now. The FBI and the Dernan police are here now. We're not even operating within our own state. I'm sorry, Sarah, but we have to leave. I'm going to talk to the captain and see if we can get special permission to reopen the case. I don't care if we have to get permission from DC. Technically, we need to reopen the case. The case is still open. <laughs> Good luck with that. I can't believe you, Phil. You know that whoever is responsible for all of that is out there and you're just going to walk away? Of course I do. You think there wasn't this much politics when I was an inspector in England? It's the same thing. Shit happens, Sarah. You gotta trust the system. I'm not gonna let this slide, Phil. I know we haven't known each other that long, but I know you're a cop deep in your bones. We gotta find this guy. We will. We will. It's just going to... It's just going rogue isn't the fastest way for... Is the fastest way for us to lose our badges. You still have the case files and Lee Davis's photos and tapes, right? <laughs> Good job. Let's show the captain everything and explain what happened. Right now, the FBI has everything locked up, so it's not like we can get any more, e e any more evidence. I'm sure we can work out something special. I trust the captain. You're right. Sorry I shouted at you earlier. You're passionate and a cop deep at heart. It's a good thing. Let's head back to Norfolk now. This place gives me the creeps. Sure, let's get our bags. Meet you here at the lobby in 15. They billed me for consuming something from the hotel room fridge. I haven't even opened mine the whole time. Don't you hate it when that happens? Tell me about it. Good luck with it. I'll see you in the 15. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Someone's approaching Mark? Ah, oh, you got here in time. For a second, I thought we'd miss each other. I flew over the second you called me. So you think it's them? I'm pretty sure. All the telltale signs. Huh. Sir Hamilton won't be happy. I thought we sorted this out years ago. Apparently not. Tell him we'll need the whole team back. It's way worse than before. I took a look around. So you're extracting tonight? No, I'm returning to Norfolk tonight and we'll go through the deep reef with Sarah. You old softy. You don't, you don't spend too long there. I'll meet you in DC in a week. Yep, see you there. Oh, Sam, yeah? Don't stay here too long. I know, I'll see you in DC, Mark. Okay, that was chapter one, which if anything probably just serves as a demo. But yeah, so I already have chapter two lined up and all of that. Um, just for the sake of my time, I mean, hmm. Because I know this is going to be split up into, at the very least, two, two sets, probably. Just because I'm, I'm already kind of losing my voice right now from all the reading I have to do. But then I guess we'll get started with chapter two pretty soon. 
So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!